So Discord recently made a change that for anybody that uses Discord bots needs to know. What you might find if you go to the Discord developer portal is that it's not as easy as it once was to get your bot token ID. In this video, I'm going to show you the change that Discord made to the developer portal. And I'm also going to provide you with a small tip to hopefully prevent you from having any frustration down the road. Hey everybody, welcome to Rust Admin Academy, where I'm normally teaching you everything you need to know about owning and operating a Rust server. But as we all know, quite often in that process, we're using Discord bots to do various different things for our server. However, the information that I'm sharing on today's video applies to everybody that uses Discord bots, not just my regular viewers. So do me a favor, if this is your first visit to my channel, check down below this video right now. If that subscribe button is still red for you, that means that you're not one of my subscribers and I'd be more than happy to have you. So if you've ever built a Discord bot for any reason whatsoever, you will have seen this page. You know this page because you've used this before. But Discord made a change recently, and I actually don't know exactly when this change was made, but this video was made in 2022. So I would say it was definitely within the last couple of months. So if we go into just this bot that I created just for this video today, and if we go to the bot section right here, this is what has changed right here. So now normally or previously, we've been able to click on a button there that would show our bot token if we ever needed it for another purpose like if we were going to deploy this bot doing another task and we needed that bot token back again however the change that they've made is now you can't retrieve your existing bot token you have no choice you have to reset it so if you no longer have access to the bot token or whatever it was before and you need it for another purpose you have to click on this reset button so if you click on this reset token button it's immediately going to reset that token and anywhere where that bot is currently working is going to stop working so if i had this bot working at job a doing whatever and i decided that i wanted to use that same bot to do job b and i wanted to grab that token so i could deploy it on whatever job b is but i don't have access to the bot token with in job A, I would have to reset that token, which would make job A no longer work without entering in the new bot token that's going to generate for me. And then I can take that bot token and take it over to job B and it would do the same thing over there. And that's fine as long as we keep track of our bot token. So what I'm suggesting for you today is when you ever have to reset your bot token, or if you're creating a new bot for whatever job is have a notepad somewhere. And I don't mean a physical notepad. I mean like a digital notepad somewhere where you can actually copy this bot token down with the description or whatever it is that you need so that you know what this bot is actually doing so that you can refer back to it later rather than having to reset this token. For people that are just using Discord bots for one job, one simple task, this really isn't that big of a deal. However, there are people out there that have one bot doing the same job over multiple different servers. So this information is going to matter to you. So what I'm suggesting you do is if you need to reset your token or if you're getting a brand new token for whatever reason, is grab that token, copy it to your clipboard, take it to whatever notepad application that you're comfortable with using and put some notes on it so that you know what this bot token is for if you ever needed to refer back to it in the future. So as you can see here, I just took my bot token, I copied it into my notepad plus plus, I put a little note after it saying this is for the YouTube bot video and that it's supposed to be deleted as soon as this video is posted. So all I'm saying here is, is keep track of your bot tokens and no matter what, it's not retrievable if you don't have the original location where you were using your original bot token. They even say it on here now and I'm pretty sure that they had some sort of verbiage on here before that was similar to this, but for security purposes, tokens can only be viewed one time. Once created, if you forget or lose that token, you have to generate a new one. So as is with all of my videos, anytime I'm displaying a bot token on screen, just know that I delete that bot or I reset that token after the video is recorded. So that token will no longer be valid by the time you guys see this video. Anyways, I hope this helps somebody out if they're searching around for trying to figure out how to get their bot token back. The long and the short of it is you can't. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday.